On September 21, 2025, something amazing will happen in the sky. The moon will take a dramatic bite out of the sun, creating a stunning partial solar eclipse. This isn't a total eclipse, but trust me, it's going to be unforgettable for anyone who gets the chance to see it. What makes this even more special is its timing. It happens just one day before the September equinox, that cosmic moment of balance when day and night are nearly equal all over the world. So what exactly can you expect? If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you're in for a treat. Viewers across New Zealand, parts of Eastern Australia, several South Pacific islands, and even Antarctica will witness the moon slowly sliding across the face of the sun. At its peak, the eclipse will cover up to 86% of the solar disk, making it one of the deepest partial eclipses of the year. Imagine looking up and seeing the sun shaped like a fiery crescent. It's a sight that feels both strange and magical, like the universe is reminding us of its power. You might be wondering, why is this eclipse so exciting if it's not total? Well, the answer lies in just how much of the sun will be covered. This is the second and final solar eclipse of 2025, and the fact that it's happening right before the equinox gives it a symbolic weight, almost like a cosmic exclamation point. From the South Pacific, the sun will appear to rise or set as a glowing crescent, which is one of the most breathtaking sights you can witness in the sky. It's these rare alignments of Earth, Moon, and Sun that remind us how interconnected everything in our solar system really is. The eclipse will begin at around 1.29 p.m. Eastern Time or 5.29 p.m. GMT. As the hours pass, the moon will move deeper across the sun until it reaches maximum coverage at 7.41 p.m. GMT. If you happen to be in southern New Zealand, you'll see between 58 to 73 percent of the sun covered. For those watching from the South Island, the sun will rise already in its crescent form. Even in Auckland, you can expect about 60 percent coverage. Over in Antarctica, Research stations like Makerno and Zucchelli will see nearly 70%, while the icy Ross ice shelf will experience around 65%. And for the South Pacific Islands, places like Tonga, Samoa, and Fiji will also get smaller but still beautiful views, ranging from 17 to 32%. Now, here's the catch. The vast majority of people on Earth won't be able to see this eclipse in person. If you're in the Americas, Europe, Africa, or most of Asia, the skies won't show you this celestial event. Before you make plans to see it though, let's talk about safety. Never look directly at the sun with your naked eyes. Even during a partial eclipse, it may feel tempting, but it can cause permanent damage to your vision in an instant. The safest way to watch is with certified solar eclipse glasses or by using proper viewing methods like a solar filter or projection. So mark your calendars. September 25. Whether you're lucky enough to catch it in person from the Southern Hemisphere, or you'll be watching online, this partial solar eclipse is one you won't want to miss. It's a reminder of just how grand and mysterious the universe can be. Will you be watching it live, or are you planning to tune in online? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss updates on this and future cosmic events.